It's Diddy Kane, I'm back like I never left Cause I'm cooking up content like a chef Shooting bills like I'm Steph uh, Curry, so hurry up subscribe Cause it's time for us to slide If you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do Throw them C's up Throw them C's up in the comment section below I'm about to help you guys go out there and scope Now, let's get into, you see the title, you see the thumbnail I'm gonna give you guys five ways to make money in a cargo van. I'm help you guys go out there and get them van. Now, before we go ahead and get into the list, I just wanna let you guys know this. This is not in a particular order. I'm just giving you five ways to make money. I'm also gonna give you a bonus, maybe two bonuses, I don't know. It depends on if you stay tuned to the full video and put me in your big screen video if you're gonna find out about the extra bonuses. Now, the first way you can make money using a cargo van is gig apps, of course. I know everybody, I know you're gonna say, I know you're gonna, look, I know, look, 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 look. Hey, I happen to like gig apps. That's one of my things I do with my cargo van. Now, the question is, what gig apps should you download? I do want to say this. I'm going to give you guys a disclaimer. This all depends on your area. What works in my area may not work in your area. So you guys have to do your own research. I'm just going to tell you guys some of the apps that I've used to make this money in a cargo van. Now, Roadie. R-O-A-D-I-E. Roadie, Roadie, Roadie with a devil wrench. Roadie is one of the apps I've used. You're gonna pick up Lowe's orders sometimes. You're also gonna pick up Home Depot orders and um, Tractor Supply, and they have another place called BJ's. That's in other markets, but things like that. You also have Dispatch. D-I-S-P-A-T-C-H. Dispatch. Dispatch, I did a lot of Sun Run orders. That's pretty much mostly what I did with this has Dispatch. I also did a couple other different orders and everything, but Dispatch is a great app to have, especially if you have some run in your area. You also have Curry, 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 Curry. Curry is also another app that I've used to make money in the cargo van. I also will go with Freight, F-R-A-Y-T. Freight, we're about to get to this money, don't hate. You can go ahead and go out and try the freight app. You want to pick up Lowe's orders, and they have a lot of different random stuff. They actually had this crazy order, I'm gonna show you guys. It was from Illinois to Wisconsin to San Francisco. It was like 2,200 miles for like $2,900. I know, I know. I'm definitely taking that for $2,900. But guess what? Don't forget you got to drive back home. Don't forget about that. So, that is another app you can use, is free. And I got uh, uh, another one. I got another one for you guys, and it is Bungie. B-U-N-G-I-I. -I. For the most part with the Bungie app and also the Curry app sometimes, for sure the Bungie app, you are gonna have to unload these items. So if you have 20 things of tile, you're gonna have to pick it up and put it in the person's garage. So make sure you keep that in mind while you're out there on the grind. And then we have Dolly, D-O-L-L-Y. Dolly is an app that customers use pretty much to have people pick up stuff. It could be a dresser, a bed, a mattress, a couch. It could be multiple different things. Also, they probably bought some on Facebook Marketplace and they want you to go pick it up and then drop it off to their house. You're creeping like a mouse. Number two. Number two is Expedite. This is this is where everybody see these YouTube channels where everybody is making all this buku chameleon quadrillion for billion dollars and one day in 24 hours they make it 1500, 1300, 2000, all that stuff. It is expedited. Now, there is two different ways you can do this. Well, kind of multiple different ways. You can stay local or you can go over the road. Usually when you go over the road, you're gonna make more money, but you're gonna drive way more miles. I'm talking about 20, like 2200 miles I told you, told you guys about. That's like expedited. You're driving 2200 miles for $2,900 and all that stuff. That's pretty much expedited. Now, you also can do this two ways. You can first, Go with a carrier company. Now, if you go into a carrier company, you most likely are not gonna need a DOT or an MC number. You're most likely gonna go under their DOT and MC number. So pretty much what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your vehicle, you're gonna need license, registration, and all that stuff. And you're also gonna need some insurance, which for the most part, you're gonna have to use commercial insurance. Usually it's $1 million auto liability and $100,000 cargo. And then some of them have like, it has to be a thousand dollars deductible and all this different type of stuff. So it really depends on the company. Now, I do wanna say this with carrier companies. With carrier companies, each company has their own set of rules. Some of them allow you to go with other companies like you can take loads from other companies and some of them would like you to be exclusively under them and that's it, that's all. You can't be under nobody else. You only can be under them and that's it. So keep that in mind. Then you have option number two. Option number two is you get your own DOT and your own MC, your own authority. But with getting your own authority, it's gonna take some time for your authority to age, which means you probably have to wait like 
six to eight to nine months for you to start getting some loads from some decent companies now just so you guys know some of these companies may be reluctant on giving you guys a load because you have a new authority that is part of the territory this is part of the trucking industry and i can understand their part because they don't want you to get this new person this load and they mess up something they don't deliver where they're supposed to deliver it this may be their number one customer or number two customer and you are here playing games so i can understand where they're coming from about that so make sure you guys keep that in your mind while you're out there trying to shine Next, number three. The third way you can make money using a cargo van is getting you a dedicated route. I understand dedicated routes is not for everybody. It's not for me personally, but that doesn't mean it's not for you. If you want to make the most money as possible, then you may want to get your dedicated route and add the gig gas on top of that. So, how do you find a dedicated route? You can find a dedicated route by going to Indeed. I-N-D-E-E-D. -E -E I've told you guys this many and many and many of times. That's where I find carrier companies. That's where I find dedicated routes at. You're gonna go in Indeed, you're gonna type in your area, and then you're gonna put in cargo van owner operator, uh, cargo van independent contractor, cargo van medical carrier. It depends on what kind of stuff you wanna do. You're gonna type that in, and it's gonna have a whole bunch of companies you can sign up for. I do know one company that's, you can deliver like little parcels and stuff like that, and that is T Force Logistics. That's one company I'm gonna give you guys off top. So, I do need you to do this though. Make sure you guys do your own research. Just because y'all hear me say it does not mean it's going to be work for you. Do your own research and you need to find out if these companies are even in your area. So make sure you guys think about that before you go hurry up and sign up for something and you do not do your research. So make sure you keep that in mind. Guess what? Begin to this money when you're dropping a dime. Number four. Number four is something that I kind of did. Not really. I did a little minor. You know, so everybody was trying to act like they did. Yeah, I remember when I was doing that. I only did this like one or two or three times. So just let me just be clear about that. And that is pallet flipping. Now, I've had some pallets that were left over from a load that we dropped off or something like that. And they, they wanted me to keep the pallet. So I took the pallet, I took the pallet to a pallet place. Sold it to them. For the most part, for decent pallets, you can get four to five dollars each pallet. So, I have done that before. So, this is how you're going to do it, right? If you're driving past, you ride them on, you get, you about to do your order, you about to do your order, you about to do you something, and they have pallets sitting there, you might want to pick those up and take those to your local pallet supply place and try to sell it to them. Do, look, look, you, do gonna, you are going to have to do some homework, and it's not going to be sweet, it's not going to be easy, you ain't just going to be able to go boom, boom, boom. Because guess what? I did find out that certain pallets are worth money and certain pallets aren't worth money. The ones that they create at their warehouse where they just put the woods together, that's not, that's not, pause, that's crazy. That's not actually going to get you any money. They, they're going to give you zero dollars, zero dollars for that because it's just wood. But if you actually have some good pallets, you can actually sell it to the place. What I would do, what I would recommend you do is, before you go even look for pallets or before you even go searching for pallets, go to your local pallet place and ask them what pallets are they looking for and how much would they pay for them so they can so you can get an idea take you a little picture so anytime you drive riding around and you getting it you see a pallet you just pick that joint up and then drop it off on your way home or something like that so that's why we're recommending and that is pallet flipping we're gonna keep on getting to this money like it ain't funny number five it's a great time to be alive number five is something that majority of the people do not like to do i'm a great percentage of america i don't even know about in other countries but america do not like to do this and it's one of the things i don't like to do but if you do decide you're going to go with this number five you are going to make a lot of money doing this because you can charge a premium because it's it's a lot of heavy lifting it's a lot of labor and that is moving. One of the worst things that somebody can ever ask you to do. Don't you hear with your friends, your guy, your cousin, whoever called you, your mom, your dad, I need you to come move this. That's like the worst thing somebody can ask you to do. If they ask you to help them move, it's like the worst thing you could do because you're gonna be hot, sweating, it's gonna be critical. So, moving. Now, huge shout out to my guy, Big CJ, over on his YouTube channel. He has created his own website and he has been doing some moving services and he's been making some great money doing it. Also, Mark the Mentor, if you want to check out his channel, he talks about moving. That's how, that was his claim to fame was moving. He had he started with a pickup truck and worked all the way to 15 box trucks doing moving. So, if you want to do some moving, you can make some great money, but it's going to be a lot of hard labor. Now, I will tell you guys this. This is something that I, I figured out over time of doing, you know, having a cargo van and everything. One of two things is going to happen. Either you are going to do the heavy lifting or your vehicle is going to do the heavy lifting. It's either one, one of the two. 
There's no if, ands, or buts about it. If you are going to do this for a long term, one of the two things is going to happen. It depends on what you want to do. I know that some people may think that driving over the road and all that stuff is sweet as easy. It's just driving. I'm going to drive. I'll be driving. I'm just... Hey, that it sounds good when you're talking about it. But when you really, and you've been driving, for, when you're really out there, you've been driving for 12 hours, 13 hours, and it's snowing and raining and doing all that stuff, you're driving from coast to coast. It's not as fun as you may think it is. I'm just gonna let you guys know that right now. Also, don't forget you might have to be sleeping in your van and all that stuff. Everybody glamorizes over the road stuff because they see the money, but they don't see the sacrifices these people have to put in. Also, moving. Moving is not a joke. You can mess up some, you, not just mess up somebody's house, you can injure yourself. And if you injure yourself, you could be out of commission. It could be over with, the jig can be up. If you lift something wrong, tweak something wrong, or maybe you're part of the person you lifting it with and lift it right. They lift it wrong, you trying to go down the stairs, they tweak something, uh, y'all drop a whole piano or drop a whole dress on somebody's leg or mess up somebody's back, and then you're you're done, the jig is up. So, make sure you guys keep that in mind. I do know with the movie you can make some great money. Also, with Over the Road you can make some great money, but also understand with Over the Road, you, my friend, are not gonna be home very often. So if you got kids and wives and all that and all that girlfriend, uh, hey, you might want to think about that before you talk about you're gonna go over the road. Now, like I said, with the moving, you can make a lot of money doing moving. If you want to do some moving, you can put some ads on Thumbtack. It's gonna cost you, but you're gonna get some leads off Thumbtack as well as Task Rabbit. A lot of Task Rabbit orders that I get is for moving. And honestly, I don't want to do it, but if you want to make some great money, Moving is the way. I'm telling you right now, moving is the way. Bonus! Bonus round, baby. I got two things for you. Number one is couch flipping. Now, I know it sounds crazy. I thought it sounds crazy when I heard about I could flip couches and all that. I heard about that. I'm like, I'm not about to be dragging all these couches around. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you guys about this YouTube channel I'll be watching. I ain't gonna lie. It's very interesting to watch, and I, I really like this YouTube channel. It is called Mission Side Hustle. His name is Corey, and his goal is to turn $500 into $1 million. He's doing a great job, but I will say this. I can tell from watching these videos that it is not sweet. It's not easy. Now he got a warehouse, fork, truck. He be having semis back in. He be unloading the semis. I'm talking about, he, he going crazy. He going crazy out there. I think he's like in Texas or Florida. I think Florida. He out there in Florida getting it in. But couch flipping is a great way for you to make some money. Now, I do want to say this. When you're watching this video, I understand that you might look at something now and see him with the warehouse and a fork truck and, and spending all this 25, 30,000 to get all these couches and stuff, brand new couches and shipping them and, and, and taking them to people's house and putting them together. I see all that. But sometimes I do want to tell you, I want to challenge you guys to do this. When you're watching these YouTube videos, even my videos, go back to the past. Go back to the past and see where they began that. Because a lot of times people think it's going to happen instantaneously and it's not. You're not going to just waltz up, get you a van, get to go out there. That's not how it works. It's a process and it takes time. So make sure you guys get that in your mind before you run out there to get the van and then you're going to run around and make all this money. That's not how it really works in real time. In real time, you're going to have some good days. You're going to have some bad days. On to number two, what it do? Number two is, this is something that a lot of people don't think about. Go ahead and try to find your local flooring stores. A Florida, I mean, a place that sells carpet, a place that sells flooring, cabinets, something like that. You got this cargo van, you got this Sprinter van, you got this van, ask them do they offer deliveries. And if they do offer deliveries, ask them what they like to add you onto their roster so you can do some delivery for them. So if you get in good with them, you ain't gonna have to really worry about nothing. You just gonna go when they have deliveries, you're gonna go over there, get that, get busy. And you can do it like that. You can make a great, a great business relationship. And who knows, this may open you an opportunity because if they scale, you might can scale with them. You might have one van, you might be getting busy with that, and they might have a lot of stuff they need delivered, and you got the one van, so now you're like, I need to get me another van. So now, hey, cuz, or whoever, hire another person, get another van, and then what if they say, you know what? We've been doing great, sales have been going great. We're gonna ask go get a warehouse now. So now, you could become their delivery solutions. You could just deliver everything for them. So, you never know, but you won't know unless you try. Hey, guess where we're going? To the sky. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And before we go, you already know what I'm about to say. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section below. I love helping you guys go out to the skull. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.